and unsubscribe the moment that you hear me drifting away from it unsubscribe turn off those push notifications don't listen to me anymore because I myself may have gone astray my name is Josh Godek and this channel has one mission to bring you closer to God I'm five videos in now and I don't really think I've shared too much about why I'm on YouTube what I want to talk about what I want to share with you guys and the past few days have been really interesting because I posted a video and you know I thought I hope you guys all watched it um, three dangers of church and very important things to, to check out and think for yourself but at the same time I don't want to miss the mark Paul said like I put my body under subjection because I don't want to miss the mark. I don't want to go astray. I don't want to miss the most important thing. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about. What this channel is going to be about. What I want to bring to the world and this channel and to you guys. Because I don't want to miss the mark. I want to bring you guys truth. I want to share what I think is the most important thing in this world. And Paul said, he said, I don't want to know anything else. He said, I resolve to know nothing else but Christ and Christ crucified. What, what can I talk about if I'm not talking about that? What can I say to you if I'm not talking about the most important thing in this world? Christ and Christ crucified. For it is the power of God onto salvation and this channel is not just for believers it's for unbelievers it's for anyone because this is the power of God onto salvation this is what life is about so like what is life if at the end of the day you end up in eternal damnation what is life what is life if you don't have eternal life the eternal life and everlasting life of God living inside of you there's there's life, there's a higher life. If you check out my, my first video, there's, there's higher things in life. And Christ, he wants to give those things to you. So that's why it, it took a few days from the last video and it felt like a long time. It's probably only been a few days, but I was really just thinking about what is the most important thing? What do I want to share with people? I don't want to teach or share anything that's missing the mark that would lead people astray or not even lead you astray but just is not at the center of it all so there's this this verse I'm going to read and it, it spoke to me it said Timothy guard what has been entrusted in you avoiding worldly and empty chatter and opposing arguments of what is falsely called knowledge which some have professed and gone away from the, the faith you know, we can talk, we can share ten, ten ways to better your life, ten, ten principles of success. Like, yes, there's, there's so much knowledge to share, and, and that's what the past few days I've had things I want to share, but I was just saying, why is this important? Why is this important? And, yes, you want to you wanna share things. You want people to, to hear you, to people to subscribe to your channel, but if it's not the most important thing, why am I... Why am I sharing 10 princi pr principles of success if somebody's going to go to hell? If they don't know the truth about Jesus. And so that's why it, it, it took a few days for this video. And um, I just want to share two things that I've been thinking about um, that I hope resolve, revolve around that, that central theme of what's important. And... The Bible says in Hebrews 12 that there will be a great shaking. There will be a great shaking. I'm going to read it. It says, At that time his voice shook the earth, but now has he promised, Yet once more will I shake not only the earth, but also the heaven. This phrase, yet once more, indicates a removal of what is shaken, that is, things created, so that what cannot be shaken can remain. So there's a great shaking that God's going to do. And if you're not built on this found this is the only thing that 
is not going to be removed. That's not going to be shaken away. That you can't shake away this truth. That, like I was saying, the ten principles of success. That that'll change every day. That'll change based off the world and new knowledge. But these things they cannot be shaken. Things I I, I picture like a a tree in a hurricane, and Christ says, I'm the vine, and you guys are the branches. And if your branches, if you're on a branch that's just solely based off knowledge or what somebody tells you, when that shaking comes, that branch is going to fall, and you're going to fall with it. Your branch has to be connected to the one thing that cannot be shaken. Christ says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. He's the word of God. That word shall not pass away. It cannot be shaken. So if you're not connected to that one thing, every other thing is going to be shaken away. If you're with God for blessings or or favor or what, just that he makes you feel good, when one day when you don't have those blessings or you don't feel good and that shaking comes, are you going to fall? Are you going to be on the ground and miss the mark you know be connected to that one thing that cannot be shaken and that's what I want to share with you guys is that one thing that cannot be shaken and as I said earlier it's this is for unbelievers and believers like some believers think oh you know I I, I know about Christ I know I know enough I don't need to hear about that I need the deeper things what what deeper things is there than the power of God unto salvation? He he said, The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in first Jerusalem, Samaria, and unto the ends of the earth. You shall be witnesses unto me. That's that's why he gave you this power to preach Christ and Christ crucified, not for any other thing. There's nothing there's nothing else that's important. So this message is for believers too not just unbelievers this channel's for for everyone and i i beg you like subscribe because i'm going to stick straight to that message and unsubscribe the moment that you hear me drifting away from it unsubscribe turn off those push notifications don't listen to me anymore because i myself may have gone astray no i want to stick to that message i want to preach that truth and I hope I will continue to do that. I hope you will share this and and listen to it and and not learn from me, but just learn this truth that there's nothing more important than this. This is I don't want to know any other thing. I don't want to teach any other thing. So that's what this channel is about. This was a very long-winded introduction. And yes, I may share things I'm going through, or just things that I'm learning, but I really, 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 really want it to revolve around Christ and Christ crucified. What else is, what else is there? What else is there that then we, we're, we all fall short and that He saved us, that He made us righteous, that He called us unto Him, that He, he made us like Himself, and not of our works, lest anyone should boast no just because of his grace because of his mercy because of who God is that image of love and this last thing is just a metaphor that I want to I want to share and I, I was just walking the other day with with my babies and I saw this like little this little cat and they, they were staring at it so I was just I was just thinking and you know these cats that we have it was one day this those are thousands of years ago those cats were tigers and they brought they domesticated those tigers and they just made it into this little cat that so helpless so weak it'll just run away from you but at one point those were those were tigers and I believe that's what happened what has happened to the gospel it was one day it was this tiger it was this powerful thing that shook people that that changed lives that people stood in awe of the the power of God unto people just stood in awe of it but how if you see a tiger in the wild they say it's like the most majestic thing 
is so powerful, but then over generations and just through traditions and this word has been shared and it's been turned into a cat. So weak, so doesn't change anything. I want to bring back that, that tiger in the word of God. I want I want to bring back that tiger. I hope to to not water anything down, to be a straight shooter as they say. I and I and I hope and I pray that God will reveal to me those truths that I can share with you and that he would reveal to you and that you guys would know those those truths as well. Um, I don't want to know any other thing than Christ and Christ crucified. I don't want to teach any other thing than Christ and Christ crucified. And I urge you all, believers, unbelievers, come back to the center. Christ and Christ crucified. Because what else is there? What other teachings are there? In Jesus' name.